Imagine if today were the time of the Founding Fathers. Imagine. Because they had to fight. Lives were lost. And lives were at stake. These people, they risked it all. So that today, we can turn away from basically everything that this great nation was founded on. And head down a road that is leading us further and further away from it. I, for one, am sick of the way things are turning out. But they say we can't change it. Bull. When George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and other great Continentals got tired of their government, they didn't whine about it. They took action. And if we want to see some change in our country, that is what we must do. We must take action. The nation, regardless of what anyone else says, is indefinitely in the hands of the people. And if the majority would quit sitting down and allowing themselves to be trampled on, then we would be in a much better place. If the majority would get up off their couches and do something rather than just complain about what needs to be done, and if the actual majority would march to D.C. and shout out that we wasn't taking their propaganda bullcrap anymore, then by golly, we'd get something accomplished. Look at how much easier it is for us. Do you really love your country? Clearly our government isn't in the interest of the people, and Congress isn't doing its job. It's time we as America stand up for America and take risks. Take action. Put the pedal to the metal and floor it to the White House. How much more are you people going to take? Where is your love for your country? Where is your true patriotism? They can't handle us all. They can't stop us all from demanding the impeachment of this ludicrous dictator. And they can't stop us from getting our country back. They have tread on us for way too long. Everyone keeps talking and talking like that's all we have to do. Bull. People, when this country was founded, they had horses, and they had to ride on that horse and travel for days to get to places, far, far away places. Today, if you want to, you could even fly to D.C. to get your point across. You could fly in comfort, drive in comfort, or take a bus in comfort. But instead, we continue to live our daily lives, hoping that Congress and the politicians will handle it. Look at the facts. They aren't handling it. I'm not advocating violence. But if things don't get under control now, and if the United States of America isn't put back into the hands of we the people, then there will indeed be violence and chaos, and we will lose everything. The men before our time that built this country, time and time again throughout history, when they got fed up, they didn't sit around and wait. They fought. They were willing to fight for what they believed in. Freedom, biblical principles and morality, equality, True equality. Not this liberal, far-left equality. Real equality. True American patriots are not just the men and women on the front line. Though they are the best we got, and the most appreciated. But a true American patriot can be anyone. There used to be a time when Americans of all types loved their country. And regardless of the situation, they were willing to fight for it. Whether they were associated with the national government or not. Regular citizens, just like me and you. That's America. It's the patriots, the men and women of the military that fight for our freedom, and the average Joe walking down the streets today wearing that red, white, and blue t-shirt. That's your patriots. That's what makes America, not our government, the people. Because when the people have enough, they'll get tired. And when they get tired, they'll take action. And a little less talk and a little more action is just what we need. I am speaking to you, America. We must stand up. We can't just say we can't and be done. Because if the Founding Fathers would have ever thought for one second that they couldn't, we wouldn't be here. Think about that. I'm Nathan Toon, a 19-year-old Christian conservative Bible-believing American patriot that is standing up every day to take this country back for America, for those who once risked their lives and gave their all ever since the beginning. If you like me, follow me on Twitter at Nathan Toon and check out my Toon Radio account as well on Twitter at Toon underscore radio. Visit my website at www.nathantoon.com and like my Facebook pages, both Nathan Toon and Toon Radio. Get informed, get equipped, and go out to get your country back. Until next time, goodbye and God bless.